everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a comparison, review, first impressions video all about this bag, which is the vintage Ferragamo Diana. And I'll also be comparing it to the newer version that I've seen in store a few times. So let's go ahead and get started. I've been looking for a white bag for a while and I thought maybe this one would be it. This is the second vintage Ferragamo white bag that I've gotten. And I actually have a third on my list because I don't think I'm going to keep this one. And I'll tell you why, why it doesn't work for me, but also why it's such a great bag. So rumor has it, I don't, I don't know for sure, but I've read in a few different articles that Lady Diana had something like 30 of these bags in different colors. She loved this bag. There were a few different variations of it that came out, but this is the classic that has kind of stayed stayed true and was the most popular at the time. So she had it in both sizes, and I'll get into sizing in a little bit, again, as well as a few other variations, and she used it all the time, so they named it, or nicknamed it at least, the Diana. You can find these vintage for very inexpensive, still, even with the re-release, and before that, they were even cheaper. So they're a really great classic bag to have, and of course, like if Princess Diana loved it, is probably a pretty good one. Like there's been multiple bags that she's loved that are still classic and still come back in style. So it's not a bag that is just going to be a trend or anything like that. I love the classic Gancini. They just switched the logo a little bit to a, a newer Gancio and I still love the classic one. So I think this is nice, but it's not super branded. You know, it just says Ferragamo up here. This one also just says Ferragamo. So it is in the script. So it's gonna look slightly different than the newer one. This is the larger size. So it opens on the side like this, this piece of leather on the side. You just open like this and it's just empty like that inside. This chain attaches, again, this is the same as the newer version, attaches with these clips. So I had an idea of, I was like, oh, well, if I wanted to wear this as a top handle, uh, I could just take this off and put a different chain on, which as long as you got a chain that was flat enough that you could do that, that would work. Ferragamo right here. But otherwise, it's a pretty nondescript chain. So you could definitely change that out if you wanted to. And then on the inside, it has the singular pocket and then the black lining and the tag. And it says also made in Italy right there. And it says made in Italy on there. But that's it. It's a pretty just simple, again, classic bag, easy to close. I can wear it as a shoulder bag. I can wear it crossbody. I was actually pleasantly surprised with how well the chain fit crossbody. And then of course you can tuck the chain in or just remove it completely and use it as a clutch, which is, she wore it as a shoulder bag and as a clutch most often. I bought this bag for, I think a little over a hundred dollars. I mean, it was very inexpensive. My, it might've been a little closer to two, but retails for something like 2000. <laughs> right now I'll, I'll list all the details of that down below. It also will depend on the sizing. So on Ferragamo's website, they're not very forthcoming with the sizes of this bag. And in fact, they say it's like 170 inches, which is just not, it's 10.7. <laughs> um, or yeah, they say yeah, 107. So it's a little, it's a little off, but it comes in multiple colors. And then it does look like both sizes are available at least in some different boutiques. So I will, I will link two in the description box, one that's larger, one that's smaller. I think that I would have probably been more interested in this bag if it was in the smaller size. I don't use a big clutch and I think that this bag looks a little too big and too slim crossbody. So there's something about the proportions that just don't work for me. The thing is that I would prefer the smaller size in terms of look, but for what I want the bag for, which is a sort of casual everyday summer white bag. I want something with a top handle and I want something in this size, but yeah, I just don't love this size. I don't need another evening bag. If you need an evening bag that can also go more casual or just like a minimal bag, 
then I think this is a really, really great option. And I would absolutely look at the vintage version because it's so much less expensive. The leather is phenomenal. I mean, this bag is from the 90s. The most amount of wear of it is on, is on the back. There's a few little indents. I haven't even really tried to get these very light stains. This is white, right? This is a white bag. There's just a few tiny little things, but it's in really great shape. So you can absolutely find these and they had come in different materials as well, but the, the cask and leather is, is really quite nice. So I would definitely, definitely consider vintage versus the newer version of this. And part of me feels like, oh, I should probably just keep this because at some point I'll want it. But I also know that it's not going to work for me. Like I may as well try to find it in a different color, something that's a little more unique in my collection that will fill the space of what I want a white bag for. Because I have a small, I have small evening bags in like beige, like more neutral colors that honestly I could wear with the same same reason I would wear this one. So I might continue to look for this at a great price vintage in a color in a smaller size, but I don't need it in my wardrobe. It's not a, it's not a missing. <laughs> it's just, it's just a classic bag that I think is nice that, that could be a good addition. So I'm curious what you all think. Should I continue searching for a different version? They have burgundies, they have reds, they have just like beautiful, beautiful colors that I love. Should I continue searching for that in the smaller size or should I just let it go? <laughs> let it be a classic bag that I admire from afar without having one in my wardrobe. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in a future video.